You're telling me there's a contagion being spread intentionally at St. Patrick's? I'm telling you that is what I suspect, even if it sounds... Uh... What exactly are you asking of me? Well, I... I suppose I'm asking you to look into it. Look into what, exactly? Look into St. Patrick's. It's a lot to ask, I know. Do you? Do you? Did I ever tell you why I moved here? No. No, I don't think Didn't tell anybody, now that I think about it. It's almost as if nobody asked. You know, I was, um, I was 21 when the towers went down. Watched on TV in my dorm room, just weeping. But I went to the mosque that day because they had a blood drive. I wanted to help. I wanted to protect this country. So, I moved to New York and enrolled in NYPD training. After the towers, Muslim officers were promoted fast, especially if we knew the language, like linguistic knowledge, cultural knowledge. I mean, we were very desirable for, for the post. Dignity. So I worked my way up. You know, traffic and translating and transcribing wiretaps, then vice. I get married. Ali is born. And I'm promoted again. Detective now. Top secret security clearance for the Joint Terrorism Task Force. I'm helping the FBI parking to fight terror and leaning on them hard if they're Muslim. Yeah, you know, we'll. I uh, thought we were supposed we'll to be fighting terrorists, not flipping some pothead student in Queens to spy Just on Americans. A tiny room at the back of a grocery store and a bunch of fishermen without a notable incident of intentional violence in almost a century it started to occur to them. What if that had been our plan all along? What if we were interlopers? What if we were infiltrators? What if we were double agents? Internal affairs was suddenly all over us. We were being followed, we were being recorded. Civilians too, surveilled at mosques, cafes. And suddenly I'm out of plain clothes and I'm back in uniform. Night shift, street beat. I roll with it. I keep my head high. Dignity. Went over the fucking PTA and call it a victory for Islam. So I don't intimidate. I don't overshare or overstep or intrude in any way. Still, Beverly Keene and a few others too look at me like I'm Osama bin fucking Laden. Dignity is a word my wife uses. And then she's diagnosed. And she's robbed of her dignity so fast. Dignity. Hmm.